guys welcome to a new video about obd2 car diagnostic in this video we will learn what is obd2 and why it is being used introduction to the diagnostic trouble code categories of obd2 trouble codes type of obd2 codes data logging of the obd2 structure of obd2 data so what is the abbreviation for obd2 it's onboard diagnostic what is obd2 and why it is being used we will see over here so uh, uh, it is an onboard diagnostic which is used for ve vehicle self diagnostic system so here uh, if there is anything wrong in your vehicle then the obd2 sensor will sense it and it will show in the dashboard stating that uh, there is some something wrong with the mark which you can see it in the left side and once the fault has been removed from your system by the mechanic or automatically it will show as all set which is shown in the right side so whenever there is a malfunctioning in your indicator lightage pop up on the dashboard and there is a misalignment in air in your operation in your vehicle it will state that so who has been introduced this obd2 to, to your standards to your vehicle and it is sae the society of automotive engineers have introduced it and they made a standard so that without the obd2 st uh, standard you cannot sell a vehicle so whenever there is any trouble in your car then you have to take it to the mechanic or you can uh, if you know how to diagnostic uh, diagnose uh, size the dtc code or the diagnostic trouble suit code then you can uh, by yourself you can read it out and understood and you can re uh, solve the issue but if you don't know how to do it basically you have to go to the mechanics so how did mechanics will uh, read the data i will show you here in the right hand side you can see there is a 16 bit ports so by connecting a obd2 connector into it the uh, mechanic will understand what is going uh, what is the wrong in your vehicle it will read out and uh, it will they will understand the code and the wrong malfunctioning of the part and they used to fix the issue so obd2 includes the standardized parameter of ids and pid that can be extracted across most regular automotives so in the next slide you can see there are uh, two kind of obd2 scanners are available in the market and they are bluetooth driver compatible with smartphone and another one is standalone bluetooth driver so uh, for whatever you are compatible with you can buy it and you can use it to read your trouble codes now i will introduce you to the diagnostic trouble code or the dtc code so obd2 are the codes that the car obd2 system uses to notify about each issue each code uh, correspond to the fault detected in the car where when the vehicle detects any issue it will activate the corresponding troubleshoot code and the code will help you into identify and fix the issue within the car so each code consists of one letter or the four digits so if you can see here you have some of the examples so in the previous videos i already explained you about powertrain chassis and body control uh, modules so uh, this course also will show you the fault in those parts so if the code is starting for p and it is like p1234 then the fault is associated with the powertrain control part and if the code is starting with c it is for chassis code and if the code is b325 then it is for body code and if it is u4567 then it is vehicle integration code so in the next slide we will see the categories of the obd2 trouble codes generally we used to divide them as b code c code p code and u codes that i already showed you in the previous slide and here i will uh, give you the detailed explanation where are the fault lies if the code is uh, belonging to a particular code so for b code this category covers the function that are generally inside the passenger compartments this function provide the driver with assistance comfort convenience and safety 
for c code uh, this category covers the function that are generally outside of the passenger compartments this functions typically include mechanical systems such as brake steering and suspension for p code this category covers function that include engine transmission and associated drivetrain accessories u code this category covers function that are shared among computers and system on the vehicles so the type of obd2 codes generally we used to categorize them into two part one is manufacturing uh, manufacturer generic or the global specific code another one is manufacturer specific or enhanced code so uh, for the manufacturer general code it will start with zero whether for manufacturer specific code it will start with one and for manufacturer generic code are common enough across almost all manufacturer so by uh, reading a fault message you will come to know which part is going for it and for manufacturer specific code it is unique for every car makers or every car models and this fault code will not be used generally by the major man majority of the manufacturer so for the second case it will be quite hard for you to detect it because uh, you might not see it before and you have to uh, think like in which part the fault will lie and it might be a uh, quite challenging for you for uh, here uh, in a example i have just show you what is the generic versus manufacturer specific code so one code is b2 triple uh, x and this belongs to a generic code and for b b3 triple x it belongs to a manufacturer code so in the next slide we will see like what is data login for the obd2 so here uh, how we can uh, log the data of, uh, data we will see it so whenever there is any fault in your uh, vehicle then you have to connect the scanner through the where you can see it over here and this data logger will be connected to the 16 pin connector by connecting it you have to send one request to the vehicle to get the response and once you are getting the response you have to analyze which is the uh, fault so here we will see the structure of obd2 data so basically who are more into the technical aspect and who are going for interview for them this uh, slide might be helpful so if you can see like obd2 data is actually a 64 bit data but uh, this also associated with one 11 bit identifier and length of one bit so what is identifier it used to distinguish request 7df and represent 7e8 to 7ef messages and for length it is one byte and here one bit sorry and here uh, this will indicate for zero is for request and for zero three it is for response so uh, this bit will let you know whether the obd2 data is for the request or for the response the obd2 data which is 64 bit data is being divided into mode pid and data bytes so mode is for 0 1 to 0 a it is for request and when it will start from 41 to 4 a then you have to know it it is a response for pid uh, for each mode a list of standard pid exists like for engine rpm 0c for vehicle speed 0d so there are many things uh, like this has been associated to know which uh, uh, which pid is associated for which fault next one is the data bytes so uh, these are the hex value which needs to be converted into decimal format before they are being used in the pid formula so it may might be ah bh ch and dh these are all hex value which you have to read and you have to analyze nowadays in the market they have android software too 
just you have to connect through the bluetooth connector and you have to read uh, you have to install the software in your uh, mobile and uh, once once the dtc code has been sent to your mobile through bluetooth it will detect where is the fault and directly it will show you this is the fault associated with it thank you guys thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe to my channel if you want to get uh, good knowledge in automotive domain 